Joe Gibbs leaves everyone in shock. Big update. Joe Gibbs Racing is back with another update. Joe Gibbs Racing has come up with the best solution for its pit crew training, and this idea of Joe Gibbs makes so much sense. Joe Gibbs Racing sent NASCAR fans crazy with video of a team using an electric car. So is NASCAR really moving toward the future, or is this just a rumor? If you want to know more about it, then watch our video till the end. Joe Gibbs Racing recently made headlines for a unique reason. The NASCAR organization, which has won multiple championships, recently displayed an electric next-gen car that will be used only for pit stop practice. On December 12, Joe Gibbs Racing released a brief preview of the vehicle to the public. A two-toned black and red Toyota Camry TRD came to a stop in the area that serves as the crew's training ground for the pit stops. The screeching of the tires was the only sound that could be heard. The video also provided a demonstration of the stock car's battery pack before continuing to show glimpses of the vehicle coming to a stop. The unveiling of the all-electric vehicle attracted a lot of responses, as was to be expected. On Twitter, users who oppose the development of electric vehicles voiced their anger in a number of highly harsh remarks. In addition, there were a lot of encouraging remarks from people who are hoping that this will be the way the sport develops in the years to come. Joe Gibbs Racing has introduced the first electric NASCAR vehicle, but this isn't the only reason the team is entering a new era in its storied past. In other words, Kyle Busch's career is over. Since Mars's decision to permanently withdraw from racing, both the Candyman and the Mars sponsorship have gone, and the only talk that is going on is of the young Ty Gibbs, who soon will be rising in the 2023 season. Does this mean that there is a possibility of electrification in NASCAR? NASCAR will not be replacing any of the season's major components in the 2023 season, but there is still a chance that, at some point in the future, some kind of electrification will be introduced to the sport. There has been substantial discussion over the numerous potential futures for NASCAR. There were discussions about the possibility of hybrid or fully electric vehicles competing in a national series, as well as an electric exhibition series making its debut before the Bush Light clash. Although nothing has taken place as of yet, NASCAR Chief Operating Officer Steve O'Donnell has mentioned that there are activities taking place behind the scenes. In November, O'Donnell stated to members of the media that he thinks they're adopting a pretty comprehensive approach across all of their programs. Electrification is only one aspect of the problem. They are continuing to move forward with their existing original equipment manufacturers to look at putting together a car. What does it look like? How much entertainment value does it have? And how much traceability does it have? These are the plans currently being implemented. We also need to consider fuel if we want to be successful in the future. What kind of impact will that have on everything? We have hydrogen, as well as a whole host of other interesting substances to investigate. The good news for NASCAR is that we are positioned very extremely effectively across all three of the platforms that we use for our national series. And additionally, there is the IMSA. In a perfect scenario for NASCAR, spectators would be able to go to a racetrack and see any type of motorsport they wanted, including electric and hydrogen-powered vehicles, as well as any other source of power. If you want to hear some loud motors going out there, then NASCAR is the sport for you. O'Donnell went on to say that the most important thing is to put on interesting races for the spectators. In addition to this, he stated that additional news would be forthcoming, most likely in the year 2023, as NASCAR works toward its goals for 2024. For the time being, the governing body will concentrate its efforts on other significant aspects. The most important of these is the enhancement of the next-gen vehicle safety features in order to reduce the likelihood that other drivers may have to sit out numerous races due to a concussion. The other primary goal is to improve the competition at both short tracks and road courses. NASCAR and its drivers have expressed content with intermediate tracks, but they have also pointed out the lack of the other styles. So what do you think? Is this the beginning of Joe Gibbs's new chapter? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our videos on NASCAR updates. And thanks for watching.